All right, so I'm going to show you what my 2004 GMC truck looks like. Um, I don't think I've done a video about this yet. Um, start off with my oiling system. You see my intake oiler there. I really like this one. I mean, it's really compact, uh, easy to use. You can adjust it. You can see your drip level. I really like that. Um, right here are my fuses for my LPG tech system. Um, the ground is grounded right here to the ground, the, the body ground or the engine ground. Um, we'll come up here to the injectors, remove the cover. Now this is something kind of unique. Um, I have two OMVL four-cylinder rails, and the reason why I have them is because they literally match these. this one right here and here literally goes straight down into the individual injector. And by doing this, I can actually shorten the fuel line down to uh, 10 centimeters on every one. And by doing that, I ensure that I can hit 6,000 RPM on this engine. This is a 4.8 liter, so it wraps up really, really quick. Um, so, you know, these injector rails, brand new, are only $50 a piece. They're Italian. Um, I don't have any failures with these on my other vehicle. Um, I can just put these in the ex absolute extreme temperatures, and they, they just don't ever, ever have a problem. So this is my favorite injector. I could do individual injectors, but um, these are my favorite. So you can see how it just goes in there really nice. So on this side, you can kind of see that. There she goes, it automatically adjusted. So you see my fuel inlet there. So you can see it looks really, really nice. When I put the cover on, you can barely see them. Now, what's really cool about these OMVL injector rails is they've got a temperature um, sensor and a pressure sensor output right there. Uh, now, I did buy a um, no glues or anything work because the oil from the natural gas dissolves the glue, and these will eventually leak if you put glue in there, and uh, the caps, they leak. So I bought a um, plastic welder and I actually filled that in with plastic and welded it in there. And if I ever needed to change it, I could just drill that back out, but uh, so these won't leak. So you see I've got my hose clamps there. Let's see if you can see there. And not on that one, but they're all hose clamped in there. It's all LPG hose. Uh, this is silicone, 250 PSI hose. Goes into my LPG Tech universal sensor. It's got the pressure sensor and everything all built all in. So it's really nice. And then it goes into my LPG Tech filter, uh, which is just a fantastic filter. I really like it. And uh, the LPG Tech 328 system. Uh, it's kind of dirty. It's been on here a while. Uh, I'm the first person in the United States to uh, purchase it, own it, install it, and do a video. Not one person in the United States has beaten me to it. And this is my Bygas Italy 400 horsepower reducer. And that is my AEB 806 uh, fuel pressure sending unit, gauge and sending unit there. So this is my system, this is what it looks like. I've never shown anybody what my system looks like. I'll put this cover back on here and kind of see what it looks like. So you can see it's pretty clean. You can see those there, but they don't interfere with the cover at all. Amazingly, because they're pretty big injector rails. And over here, they completely hide. So see that side there, I wanted the other side to look like the same, but they won't fit the other way. It's really weird. They won't fit um, facing the other direction because of this fuel line right here, this gasoline fuel line. There's nothing I can do about that. But 
so this is this is my system this is the way she's set up and um, yeah, I really like it it runs really really well and um, the components that I have in here are just I just I love them because they work so well and they last so long so there you go there you have it so that's my system